James Orengo to take over. Ah, Erokamano. Erokamana Hina. Kapo Kaluongo Nyawangaya. Kendo po kwaluongo jo tendwa. Koten girai la molo dinga. Gematha karua. Gikalonzo msioka. Giujin wa malwa. Gimin pin. Zigiwaja koya. Awach matin. Takwa yo u. Nadwa loso gi dongere. Ni kech gi mo wacho ka e ibondo ka. Wadwa no chop malo. Awach koso ki kawachi. Awach koso ki kawachi. Pre Ruto. Ruto if you are a Christian. If you are a Christian. Who is truthful. You will hear my words today. They are. This uh, man called Kome. Kome said that as a Mio hired corpses and alleged that they were killed by the police. Now I want to show Ruto that Kome was lying. There is our very own. Nyathi game manunge bondo kama bera enya kendo woi mo take no man gidalagi David Otieno okunge David Otieno jadi mo nge David Otieno. Abiro abiri mano. Abiri mano. Wawacho take a no. Now, Ruton, listen to this. Listen to this. The person who led operations during the killing in Bondo, during the killing in Bondo, was not somebody from Central, was not somebody from Nyanza, was not somebody from Western, was not somebody from the coast. The person who led the operation in Bondo, my chief bureau, my chief bureau, my chief bureau, my chief bureau. You know, Kome said that we hired dead bodies from the mortuaries. Police protocol. Police also have their protocol. When you die an unnatural death, whether in a hospital or outside the hospital, they cannot receive that body and conduct a post-mortem without the participation of the police. So when David was killed here in Bondo, the person who led the operations The chief was a small man. But I'm coming about the chief. We shall say everything. The person who took the body for post-mortem was one called, let me look at the name properly in case I'm accused. Uh, it was somebody called uh, a sergeant. No, it's not a sergeant. It was not even a corporal. Somebody called Bundo Teach. Now they are saying we hired the police record. This is a, a, an application form signed by the police for the conduct of a post mortem on David. This post mortem is signed by a police officer. The body was recovered by a police officer. For post mortem, the people asked for a post mortem to be conducted was a police officer. The person who escorted the body to the mortuary and also 
for the postmortem was a police officer. Now, there is another of our friends called Eliam Michael Oduor. Michael died in Kisumu. There's a postmortem form here, signed by the police, asking the doctors in Jaramogi, Oginga, Odinga to conduct a postmortem. It is signed by a police officer. The person who escorted the body is called Tunui Gilbert. Tunui, Tunui, Tunui. I don't know whether there's uh, somebody in Azimio leadership known as Tunui. I've not heard so far. Oh, Paranya, do you have a name like Tunui? <laughs> and I've got all the postmortem reports here. They show. In fact, the postmortem say they died of gunshot wounds. All of them. Now, how Ruto can go and congratulate the police for killing people? I wonder whether there's a Christian or a pretender. And that is a question that I must answer. Now, the chief here, the chief here, the chief here, and I'm not seeing any police in Goma, Magma, Magma. Manam Yogi Owang. Manam Yogi Owang. Tai Tomedo Wango Yogi. No cow can ya kwanza lilo. Temoti koi dalage. And we know Wabro Rango Wachine. Warango Zaki Warangi. Warango Zaki Warangi. I want to tell you and tell the whole nation that the killing during Mandamano was something which was planned in the National Security Council shared by Ruto. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, why it was planned by Ruto. Never before, Raila and myself have been in demonstrations since Kenyatta's days. There are things that happened during this mandamano that we've never seen before. And I'll go one by one. I have never seen, even when we went to Kamukunji, that assault weapons were being used against the people. It wasn't an assault weapon. An assault weapon is a weapon which has got... Uh, a wide range, it is for military use, and it has got precision. If you look at the body of Ward Sialaka Duel, David, the gunshot came from an assault weapon, which has never been used before. Number two, never before in the history of Kenya have I seen during demonstrations when handguns were used. Handguns can be a pistol or a revolver. I've never seen before a handgun being used by the police. And the police not in uniform. Number three, I have never seen police snipers who wait for you as you're passing by with a revolver and a hand a handgun or a hand weapon, and you are shot from close range. It has never happened. Number three, if you look at the Black Maria they are using now, those water cannons, they are militarized. They are not supposed to be used against the people. They have gadgets and enforcements that can go through barriers. And that is only used in military operations. These cannons that we are fighting against, if you look at them carefully, they are not supposed to be used against dem demonstrators. Number five. Since more than 60 people died, I have not heard of a police officer recording a statement. And I've been going around trying to get a statement from all these stations where there were injuries. Reports are made, but there is no single statement written 
in terms of taking action against the deaths of our people, which shows clearly, and I've done law for many years, it is beyond reasonable doubt that the policy taken by this government is to intimidate, to blackmail, and to use scotch art policy. Ruto Dwaran Mund Ulwar Nikusaido no Negiji Nimono Koru Beda Beda or Kokucha Watchna Uruni Ongaringo Yadimo Yena Ongaring 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 Chief Makai in Wodwa in Wodwa Tokawa Sigo Biro To Nongidala Nidi Dwati Kojodala. To obey more tongue. Obey more tongue. On the issue of Kome, Raila Molodinga, and you got two senior councils who are in the Azimio leadership, Kalonzo Musioka and Martha Karua. These petitions, sometimes it's a political process. They'll use people they know, they use the people they work with. You will send a petition, it will be dealt with summarily. To deal with Komi, me I have two solutions. To Kirudi Kwa Mandamano, there should be a Komi day, Komi must go, Komi must go, Komi must go. Second, second, second Raila Molodinga, I ask you that we should institute private criminal proceedings on behalf of Azimio leadership, there's an offense called criminal libel, defamatory libel, which is a criminal offense under a penal code. It has not been used for a long time. I, I, I invite to TND and the rest of the team, let us sit down and make out a case. We go to court on Wednesday or Thursday. Katawajma governor, anya locate of pain. Anya locate of pain. Mondo, nobody in Kenya is above the law. Even Ruto is not above the law. We summon Kome in criminal proceedings to answer to, to the charge of criminal libel. What team? What team? What team? What team? Mara Reo, Mati Ekogo, Jacom, Oluongo Ebura, Moroma Council of Governors. We've been told to go for a meeting for Council of Governors. And it is going to be opened by President Ruto, so to speak. I'm saying so to speak because we don't recognize him. Now, we as Emio governors are the only ones without security. Wanyaongaya has no security. All even broke, or even bodyguards were taken. Jacoma has no security. Minpinya has no security. Kaloza has no security. Martha has no security. Wandai has no security. Gogo has no security. Otiende has no security. Bura macha loka mano wa di ome ango. Bura maka mano wa di ome ango. We cannot sit down with somebody listening to him when he has taken away security from uh, uh, Baba. I do not say, I'm a member of Council of Governors. I, we will propose, we'll have a meeting so that we resolve that we cannot go into a meeting presided by Ruto when he has taken away the security of our leader, Raila Amolo Odinga. What team come on? Because we what team. Anadu ati ekoni ya. Baba pinyo check. Kadakawa ni half term. Sani ena na half term. Wabindo warangu kakaji loso. To angeni ya half term. Half term nisho na wachako wige mani chunge mandamano. Koro wakwano one day, two day. Teacher beach for one half term. School. 
Wadogi school kwa sababu kwa dogi. Jo wasia kai munek mangeny moloe Kenya mangema. Kiny koti ko de che makiny brodo ko sei ko jogema uchel. Kwa che ko de che makiny jo ganya go gunja wabro wabro iko ya dek ko de che makiny rumo kiny. Allego usonga kwa ti ko de che makiny jareyo. Rarieda jareyo. Bondo ya reo magiji ya parga ngwento moko pod ni subtal ni tie word bondo kama no go risasi ma risasi ni e oboye nyakasani kaka golo tamo daktache ni tie word yimbo kai moko agadi sase kaji neno bondo ka kendo go e good chien go tiendene Give military kind of weapon. Kano tere subtal kae. Tonga tiende. He was amputated. Tingen samaninga to tiende ne to no kungeyo. En ko chieu. To kora angre kama. Kako bed. To ido no onge tiende. Koro chako penye no unga to tienda na. Unga to tienda na. Abe kanadi nene. To penye no rengo. Yogo unga to tienda na ngo. Nikaj no kongo yoka gino no temore. Resources are not going to change no parallel. O mi oti yogi jo yogi. Magi jo yogi. Kioni ile sufria yako. Sufria yo yako. Ilikuwa nafanya kazi zamani sana. Kama kuna evil spirits. Unachukua yo sufria na mambo ngine. Unapiga ile... Ile, 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 evil spirits yende. Na wakati unapika sufuria, unasema nya, nya wawa. Ruto nya wawa. Gona uruga chagu wa nya wawa. Nya wawa kiko wa kanga tosego, nya wawa tiko uwi. Nya wawa, uwi. Nya wawa. Nya wawa. Erul kamano warwa nyawa ngaya gabana mahoma be erokamano